Well, Merry Christmas. This is True News, Trues and True News, news you can trust with focusing on adverts over this Yuletide period. Let's have a look at the current Sainsbury's commercial that's exploiting a near mythical historical event where in the First World War there was a, a football match apparently on Christmas Eve. Jenkins. Terrible travesty that war of course, apparently like you know sort of it was fought for comparable reasons to the kind of conflicts we're involved in now. Uh, well the territory, power, resources, so like it's been reframed and this is an attempt to present it really nostalgically and I'm a big fan of Black Adder Goes Forth so I see all of the First World War through a site, even though I'm aware of its brutality, we did it at school, it's through a somewhat sort of romanticised sepia filter but it was a brutal war and you can bet that the people that benefited from it were not the people that are up there in the front line eating these biscuits. It was people that were cosy elsewhere. Night. Do you think they actually sell that chocolate down Sainsbury's? Do you think they do? Of course they do, why wouldn't they? Awful one here, isn't it? All those people were brutally killed two days later. Why get off at this stop? You know, the stop of like, why go? We can identify the fact that human beings are essentially the same and the tribal allegiances and affiliations that we have, which are often uh, allocated to us for the convenience of the people that govern and control us. Why don't we demonstrate in a commercial how we can overcome those through love? Oh, that's a good idea. What, to bring about a new, more equal society? Less equal. More chocolate sold, though. Okay. <laughs> so everyone looking at each other like, should we go and become mates with the Germans? Yeah, go and become mates with the Germans. Form yourself into an organised collective of hundred man groups and overthrow the people that are making you fight this senseless, futile war. Sleep Oh, the robin, I mean, they'll stop at nothing. Exploiting all of, like, sort of the, the myths of our time. Like, Sainsbury's, let's have a bloody good look at their tax arrangements and see what they put back into society, see what they put back in the community. Have a look at what they pay their workers. Have a look at the way that they prevent their workers organising. I break the gun! I break the gun! Jim? Jim! Don't, don't do it! Gripping though, isn't it? <laughs> Nine or so. My name is Jim. My name is Otto. Why it's hurt is like it upsets me is because it's so close because it's use it at its core the resource the energy that this energy uh, this commercial was tapping into is sort of love and unity and togetherness and nostalgia it's like so close to saying hey we could form the perfect society based on love if we we're prepared to overlook our dis differences but then it just goes instead go down sainsbury's it's christmas like what go on, why go all this trouble to then just go go down sainsbury's what for, for some money for sainsbury's it just seems like Obscene, it's porn. Pleased to meet you, Otto. Freut mich. Rose, she's called. Um, it's schön, um, it's schön. Do you total evil bastards? <laughs> Football, love. Chocolate is nothing sacred. It was a draw.
score after 90 minutes, so uh, there was a penalty shootout, and obviously the Germans won. Oh, by the way, we're in the middle of a bloody great war. But more importantly even than that, Sainsbury's. <laughs> Danke. Happy Christmas. Boy Weihnachten. I said, I mean, I'm sort of outraged by it. I'm outraged. I'm outraged by how good it is and to what end. It's so brilliant, so beautifully crafted, so lovely. And then at the end, Sainsbury's, all right, they'll go, oh, British Legion or something like that. They'd like sort of like some sort of like, because they'll go, hold oh, on a minute, we can't justify this unless we give like, find out what they give the British Legion and find out what British Legion do with that money. Because, I don't know, like, you know, this is you know, like 60% of bloody homeless people in London are ex service people. Like most of the homeless people you see in London were in these armies now. Never mind <laughs> Christmas 1914 game of football. <laughs> Evil, twisted geniuses of Sainsbury's. Perhaps look at using these resources of emotion and unity that we have as human beings for something other than driving people in a supermarket. That's their whole objective. So their whole objective is to get you to go down a supermarket and spend some money. That can't be right, can it? How can it not simultaneously observe that we have lost touch with the very feelings that they are seeking to exploit? Ah. Well, that's the truth. It's a debilitating cruel world. You think after the horror of the First World War, there's no lower that humankind could go, but there is, using the First World War to sell chocolate. Happy Christmas. Nose is a tool that is abused to fool you and to leave you scared and confused. Trolls is like the nose. If the nose was true, I want some trolls. Let's have some trolls.